Pretty good, right? Yeah. Now, I got something good for you today, huh? Got something great for you. I'm sure you guys will like it. Yeah. Had to figure out how to configure the microphone settings on my computer. That's why it came out all crap the last time. Forgive me, though, because, you know, I don't know what I do sometimes. Just bear with me. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Yeah, guys, let's get started. Pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, in case you're wondering, today's my birthday today. I turned 26. Funny that, huh? Now I know what you guys are thinking. Well, you, you certainly don't look 26. Well, I am. I'm old as hell. Okay, I admit it. Ah, uh, man, let me tell you. A quarter of a century can go by so quickly that you won't even notice it until it's gone. Just singing in the wind. It's crazy. Before we realize it, we'll all be dead. <laughs> yeah. I got a dogger with me. Actually, quite a couple of doggers with me. Yeah? Dogger! 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 You know? I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm surprised that the company behind the British candy bar Nogger hasn't come up with a canine equivalent to it yet. That's all dog friendly and completely devoid of any chocolate I mean that would be nice don't know what kind of difference it would make though but I mean yeah You know, this big old Great Pyrenee that I have, this Karakacham Pyrenee mix, is the calmest dog I have ever gotten to take care of. I kid you not, people. I kid you not.
Yeah. Don't be late to my... How can I be late to my own party if I'm the only one in it? I don't know, man. It just figures itself out. Hi guys, I'd like to send you a message about Autism Speaks. See, Autism Speaks doesn't speak for people with autism. They just speak for the Rothschilds and the Bigwigs and in in the Vatican and all this other stuff. You know, it's, it's like trying to get something out of an outhouse. It's not gonna work. I don't know. <laughs> White trash redneck impersonation. I don't know, man. <laughs> I say that turned out quite well, didn't it? Yes, it did. Uh, corporate bigwig impersonation. I'm going to be doing a few of those, guys, so don't be alarmed. It's just me just showcasing my talent for all the world to see. It's no big deal. Okay, just calm down. All right, calm down. Such a good dog she is, huh? Yeah, she just wants her belly rubbed. That's all she wants. Hell yeah, that's all she wants. I believe that wholeheartedly, you know it? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. There are only two things in life that you can get for free. The first thing is questions the last thing is answers so those two things you can only get for free in life and if that's not the truth I'd like you to try and disprove that for me and tell me what is because that's as close to the truth as I think most people are ever gonna get and I'm not even sure that that's even close enough as it is to be honest about it But anyway, guys, that's just me keeping it real for you. Telling it like it is. You know? Telling it like it is. 
right up on that mountain. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to be doing something really special today for my birthday. I'm going to give you a gift. Yes, I'm going to be streaming for no less than two hours today. Hopefully between two to three hours across three separate spans. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the, 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 you know? Hi, everybody. It's Split Darts in here. Um, I, uh, I'm Riley. I'd, I'd prefer to be called Zinc though, because uh, reasons that I'm not going to get into at this point in time. What's up, everybody? I'm Polly. Look, buddy, it's a bad guy. That's my that's my voice characterizations of Flint Dartson, Riley Zinc, Polly Rockport, and. From a lunatic's tale, respectively. It's a webcomic that was created by two of my best online friends in the whole world, Beck Keep and her husband Rick Fortner. They're very talented at what they do, people. Very, very gifted in their crafts. Very talented at what they do. They even do plushies, I heard. They're very good with that. They're both recluses just like me when I want to be. I'm, I'm kind of a recluse when I want to be, but yeah, you, you guys get it. I don't want to have to tell you. You just know, right? Uh. Yeah. What's up, Doc? That's a, that was a freaking terrible freaking <laughs> Bugs Bunny impersonate. <laughs> just stop. Just stop, man. That's just crazy. I don't even care anymore. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm, I'm kidding. <sighs> Oh my god. Tell you guys what. I don't know how many people are watching this. I'm hoping it's a few people, but I don't really expect it. But guys, 
here's something you might not have known about me. Um, I'm not gonna lie here. Before I started taking Ambilify, I was essentially harming myself. Not that that requires a mandatory psych evaluation, but, you know. There was something seriously wrong with me, and I had to figure out what it was, and that something was me. So I started taking Ambilify several weeks ago. Best decision I ever made. I'm a lot calmer, a lot cooler. I still feel a little malcontent every now and then. Just, you know, not nearly as much. But when I do, I just keep it to myself. And when I'm all alone in the house with no other human being around, I just vent my frustrations verbally. I don't do it physically anymore. Or at least I'm going to try not to. But you guys get it. Hopefully in the next stream you guys can see my fat ugly face again. Not that it matters, but I mean it's worth pointing out, isn't it? <laughs> you know. I'm just <laughs> I'm just firing on all cylinders today, let me tell you. Firing on all cylinders. That's uh that's a little bit of a Bugsy impersonation, I guess. Or a little bit of an Al Capone impersonation. Three weeks ago I did a live stream. And quite frankly. I didn't know if I was going to come back. Because from day one. That, that's my Vince Russo impersonation, by the way. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants impersonation. You know I like that show, right, guys? Such a good show. Um... Really not sure what else to say at this point. Maybe I can do a few more voice impersonations for you guys. Hey, my name is Speedy Gonzalez. I'm the fastest mouse in all of Mexico. My Uncle Mikey did a pretty good Speedy Gonzalez impersonation. I think he was an aspiring actor at one point in his life. For that tragic accident that accident before that trip that tragic accident he sustained during his college years playing basketball confined him to a walker in a wheelchair for the rest of his life uh, all his dreams were dashed completely to hell on that day and it really sucked because I guess maybe in an alternate universe maybe Maybe he would have been a successful voice actor. He could have been the next voice actor for Speedy Gonzalez, but I don't know how that would have turned out. Because I'm not in that alternate reality. I'm not in that alternate universe. I'm only in this one, and that's the only one I'm going to be in, and I'm fine with it. Scoodaloo! <laughs> You know? They're doing their thing! Jack along, jack along! Chattanooga Cats. What, what, a, what a crappy theme song, by the way. Sound like some freaking Leonard Skinner B side or something. What the hell? Crazy. Yeah. Tell you, I don't know how this is going to turn out, guys, but I'm just happy to be along for the ride. Yeah.
All you want is a belly rub, don't you, Karma? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it is time for another shitty WWE Raw review. You know what I mean there? Um, this show was complete garbage there. Complete and total garbage. Everything on that show was straight up stupid. You know, a freaking three-year-old could write that show better, you know what I mean? Eh, that was a terrible wrestling Jesus impersonation. Cedric, I, I know that you, being the wrestling Jesus, I know that you've watched this product for many years. I know that you've seen it much better than this in 1995, but please, please don't sue me. Please don't sue me. I'm just doing this for, for entertainment purposes. I'm doing this for fair use. But but yeah, you you get it, you get it, you understand. You guys understand. You got it. Whoop. You know? I've got rhythm, I've got style, I've got vigor, who can I score anything more? You know, I don't know man, it just figures itself out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a complete and utter jackass on deck trying to Rig her vote in favor of Hillary Clinton. If you could please, flight attendant, please remove that idiot from the plane. That would be great. Thank you. Pilot impersonation, by the way.
That moment when Long John Baldry of Sonic the Hedgehog fame catches your hand in the cookie jar. Snooping is shoes, all I see. I don't know, man. I got a million of them, man. I got a million of them. <laughs> There's a time and many a life, you know. I mean, there really is. Me impersonating Charles Oswald trying to sing is just cringe, I know. You don't have to tell me, I just know. Oh, boy. What else is next? I don't know, man. It's just... I gotta get those three eyes in now. Yeah. Uh, it's it's funny to me that that I've been working on my entertainment skills my whole life and really have not much more than screw all the show for it sometimes but I don't know when life gives you a really bad lemon you got to make the most of it and try to squeeze as much good lemon juice out of it as you can because God only knows, like I know, that at some point or another, it's going to come to. Everything's going to hit the fan all at once. Now let me tell you guys something. You say we're preaching the 30 minute mark on this video, but let me tell you now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Al Jolson impersonation. His real name, by the way, was Asa Jolson. I'll cover, I'll, well, I've already covered him, but ah, I don't know, man. My choice of words today is terrible. It's terrible. I don't know. Anyway, I already have the first six episodes of my newest web series, Perfectly Justified, filmed and edited to your liking. I'm going to have that uploaded to YouTube very, very soon. A whole season's worth sometime next month, whenever I have the time. So... Get ready, guys. It's coming. One lump sum, everybody. It's coming. <laughs> Cookies. Oh. It's a good thing I took my meds this morning. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, man. I'll tell you what. If that is not the craziest thing out there, then let me tell you what. I don't know what is anymore. I'll just be completely honest about it. And for me to lie, of course I am not going to lie. Why would I want to lie about it when I know that I'm right? When you know that I'm right, when everyone and God himself knows that I'm right. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. Let me go ahead and check on that stuff. And Yeah, I'm going to check on that stuff now. We're going to get some stuff figured out. And I got five followers, not bad. Hey! Check on that stuff and who the Yeah, I'm gonna check on that stuff now. We're gonna get some stuff. I got five followers, not bad. Hey! Check on that stuff and who the Yeah, I'm gonna check on that stuff now. We're gonna get some stuff. I got five followers, not bad. Anyway, that's pretty much that. I'll check on it again in a few minutes. I gotta, you know, because you know, this is the first time I've ever interacted on my own live stream by from someone who posted a comment on said stream. It's crazy. You know, today being my birthday. See... When it all comes down to it, ladies and gents, humanity used to have its last leg to stand on 2,000 years ago, but it just doesn't anymore, and it's unfortunate, because with a human race that has so much potential, with a human race with so much potential, right? You still have a bunch of gullible people who vote for politicians that never get the job done. They simply will not do it. They will not get the job done anyway. And it's, it's actually kind of insulting because not only does this dumb down everything in general, but it kind of makes us look like a bunch of savages but that's my opinion on the matter what I say doesn't mean much it's not gonna hold up much weight anyway so just take it with a grain of salt just calm yourself down don't get your balls tied up in a knot okay Oh man, I don't, I don't understand myself sometimes. It's just, you know, mm. this is just that was his next level cringe. I don't know what that was, but you know, I just, I try to come up with phrases. Sometimes they stick, sometimes they don't. Like glue, no less. Like glue. Ooh.
Well, I failed miserably on that. <laughs> you know? You know? You know, just take a Colt 45 and <laughs> right in my head and be done with it. You know? <laughs> oh, man. I tell you what. I'm going to be checking on my mixer every couple of minutes, by the way. So, just keep that in mind, everybody. Just keep that in mind. Because I'm going to be doing this all throughout the stream. You can like it. You can choose not to like it. It's your choice, ladies and gents. I can't keep tell you that you're wrong. Mind. You can choose not to like it. It's your choice. Yeah, man. <laughs> just playing back that stuff like you just spoke. <laughs> 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 you know, it's, it's crazy. I've, I've never gotten sparks before. Somebody donated some sparks to me. Thanks, whoever you are that that donated 500 sparks to me. It means a lot, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Just thought I'd go out of my way to, you know, say that. Because who the hell else is going to? Not anybody else. Might as well be me.
Yeah. I guess what this point in this time, not that it means anything. I guess what I could do, I could go ahead and see where I can take this and all that shit. Because you can't have bread without the butter. But yeah. You just gotta keep it moving. You gotta keep it all moving. You show Pierce Pearson. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just so obvious over time, isn't it? Oh, it's all crazy. Yeah. 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 Hmm? Tell you what, guys. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. If you are at all entertained by what I do and you like what you see, don't hesitate to follow me. I'm absolutely all right with that. If you don't like what I do, if you're not entertained, if you think I'm just a loony bin reject who should screw off to a grave somewhere, um, you can think that way too. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong or right. You just have to tell the line and think for yourself, you know. I'll let you make the call and I'll be alright with it either way. I'm not, a, I'm not a difficult person to please. I'm actually a very simple person. I lead a simple life and I'm a simple kind of guy. I like to keep things simple. I like to, you know, I like to... I like to keep things simple, which is really all you need to know about me. I, I'm, a, I'm a simple guy who leads a simple life, and that's it. I nest. I mean, 
Nas, I ask for nothing in return. You understand? I guess I'm talking about a rapper named Nas. So I'm trying to say, but uh, just came out screwed up. Came out all screwed up. Holy crap! Holy crap! What's that? <laughs> oh man! I tell you what. Right, that's awesome. Yeah, you can take that to the bank and cash it. Right in the ATM. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's the way things are. <laughs> yeah, I know. You you guys probably I understand that. There's no reason for me to tell you otherwise cuz you're capable of making your own choices. Can't say that you're wrong cuz you're not. I can't say that you're right either. To decide. Yeah, guys, it's pretty much that. I take what I can with a Grinch. Grinch. I take what I can with a pinch of salt, and I'd be. Well, might as well be a Grinch of salt. <laughs> a Grinch of salt. Oh, man. Can, can you imagine? Holy Jesus. Let me tell you.
My birthday has taken over Bing. Because of course it has, no kidding. You don't can say, huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> Have a sample of this instrumental that I made yesterday. Yeah, not that it matters, but it's, it's worth it's worth pointing out. I should also point out that life is just a dream. It doesn't, none of this is going to matter. You understand? The only thing that matters is you. You understand, guys? I guess that puts me over the 800 token mark. I'm 80% of the way there, people, to my 1,000 token goal. Yeah. I know that's right. Yeah. guys I don't know how this is going to turn out but yeah yeah I'm almost a third of the way to my quota here I said I was going to do about three hours of this so far I've done what I can on that and that's all I care about yeah yeah Yeah. Just thought I might point that out to you guys. So, yeah. And the more you know, the better off you are. And so it figures itself out.
tell you what, I, I do a lot of stuff too. So, it's pretty much just straightforward at this point. <laughs> you know, not that it means anything, but it's worth pointing out. Because of course it is, why not? I'd like to thank you once again for taking part in the first part of my birthday stream today. I thank you very much. I'm going to be back here at approximately 10. I say approximately because at this point, I'm not even sure if I can deliver on that. But I will do my best. And ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our stream for now. But at 10 o'clock this morning, EST, I will be back once again. And I'm going to be playing some of the Jeweled Stars this time around. I haven't played that in a while. Huh? Huh? Yeah.